at it. See what you did there. Wonderfully. As far as they're concerned, I'm just some jerk stumbling from one iffy job to another, and I'm now groping my way to the wall of vellum. This thing on my hand, what is it? Is it serious? No. Okay. So, what's good? It's new. Nothing. A lot of work. Exhausted. It's nice to see you. You never call. I don't like to disturb you. You're kidding. You just speak to my secretary and I call you right back. Your place gets more and more monastic. <laughs> yes. See Mark lately? No, no, no. Not lately, no. Have you? Two or three days ago. Mm. And is he all right? Yes, more or less. Oh. No, he's all right. Well, I spoke to him on the phone last week and he seemed all right. Well, he is. He is all right. Well, you seem to be implying he wasn't all right. On the contrary, I said he was all right. More or less, you said. Yes, more or less, more or less, all right. Hi. <laughs> uh, you been out? Seen anything lately? No, I can't afford to go out. Oh. I'm ruined. Oh. see something special? Would you like to? Sure, I will. Show me. Yeah. Yeah. Little 
gloomy right now. I don't blame him for not responding to this painting. There's a whole apprenticeship you have to get through, which he hasn't. Either because he never wanted to, or he has no particular instinct for it. None of that matters, no. Mm -hmm. What I blame him is his tone of voice, his smugness, his tackleness. I blame him for his insensitivity. I don't blame him for not being interested in modern art. I couldn't give a shit about that. I like him for other reasons. And he likes you too. No, no, no. I felt the other day a kind of... A kind of... Condescension. Content with really bitter action. No, yes! No. Don't keep trying to smooth things over. Since when did you get this great urge to be the great wrinkle sign of the human race? Why don't you just admit that Mark is atrophying if he hasn't already atrophied? 